Hello and welcome back to another video from a very sunny and warm County Kerry. Um, not a whole lot going on here at the moment, uh, which look I'm not going to complain about. I'm still waiting on my two cows to calf, so um, I've one that is due in a week. So I'm keeping an eye on her now because she is the one that is yet to calve on her own. So she's out in the field, but obviously we'll be bringing her in in case there's more drama again this year, which unfortunately, no doubt there will be. Um, and then the other cow generally does the job, no bother on her own, the big black cow. So she'll um, she'll stay out. She'll go with the, the other gang um, as soon as we put the other one inside. But um, yeah, so today you can probably see the can of paint there beside me. I'm going to tackle a bit of painting on these bales. So it's warm, but there's a nice breeze there. So I'm covered in sun cream. So I'm going to tackle them um, as long as the, the heat allows it anyway. Uh, we're not at midday yet, so hopefully I'll get it done before the, the main heat of the day. So that's job number one. I'm going to finish off putting up a bit of wire below where I am. Um, was short the last day I went to the co-op this morning and uh, got the wire so I'll do that little bit only a small job and then I'd say we'll look to move the cattle either this evening or tomorrow so we'll see how that goes I'll continue the video anyway um, over a couple of days I'd say and once they're out of where they are I need to top that field there's patches of it that are just gone a bit strong and they're not keen on it they don't want to eat it and um so I'll get in there top that and of course the rushes and there's a few thistles coming as well so I'll do that that's pretty much the plan for this video as I said it'll probably be over two days maybe even three days and I'm going to get going on these bales I'm going to show you something so you know I had unwanted visitors on my bales last winter which led to a lot of issues and a lot of rotten bales and this is now a new thing that I haven't seen before here it seems like a cat or a fox or something was climbing all over the bales sorry if it's a bit breezy um, I've never seen a cat down here I know I have a lot of cats I have three cats I don't have a lot of cats I have three cats but my house is up over the main road and everything they don't come down here and the neighbours don't have cats but I suppose there's a few strays around there must be but they have climbed all over my bales. I'll give you a proper look there in a minute. So I'm hoping it was just one night or once off and they won't be back because I don't want their claws coming out and them making the little holes and I can't even see them. So um, yeah, sure. There's always something, if it's not a rat or a rabbit or... <laughs> um, it seems to be some feline animal um, at the moment. But yeah, I'll show you that and then I'll get going on the painting before it gets too hot. So very obvious that there was someone and you can probably see they climbed all over them, all over up the top and everything. So I'll be inspecting them there now as well while I'm painting, but hopefully, hopefully they were just messing and they came straight back down. So all I've done first anyway is put, that's my attempt at a one, um, on anything that could be blocked by the second cut. So I've put some just on a couple of um, the second row as well, just in case I'm not sure. So basically anything with a one, whatever is behind that is first cut. And I think that makes sense. And I think that will make sense to me in the winter anyway. But yeah, all of these will be covered. And I did the front couple there as well because they'll um, they'll have bales sitting on top of them. I hope, because I'm hoping to get <laughs> that many bales that I'll need to use all this space. But um, yeah, that's the start of it anyway. Now that's the job done. So I didn't set up the camera because it's blowing a gale when you're up on top. And I didn't want to lose my phone because I recorded on my phone. I don't want to feel like Farmer Phil and the silage pit. So I said I'd leave it off and sure, all I was doing was painting X's. But um, look, I'm not sure if it will 
make a massive difference um we'll see because there was definitely small pinholes in them last year from birds so we'll see if this makes any difference to them now um and if it does nothing else it let me inspect them a little closer and i have found two very very big holes that i need to patch up one in fairness hasn't pierced the film inside but the other one has so i'm going to patch the two of those up they're kind of in awkward places so hopefully i'll be able to do it this here is rip number one so it's between the stack but i'll be able to get at that and that's only a small one so that's okay but i'm glad i spotted it and that's it patched up i'm never stingy with the tape it is a lot cheaper to buy a roll of tape than to be bloody throwing out bales so should be no air getting into that now anyway that one there now has not gone to plan i just can't get at all the cut because the bale is touching off it so <sighs> can't do much about it i've patched up what i can of it and hopefully it won't uh, damage too much of the bale but look that's it i'll show you my handiwork i won't make a painter or an artist anyway that's for sure but i'll show you anyway Some people have a spinning jenny, but I have dad and the gator. <laughs> I'm just heading down to move the cattle now. I had to wait for my sister to finish work because she's going to help out and uh, stop them going for town. So um, yeah, we'll get that done and I have the fencing done so it's all set. Hopefully they'll go straight down, I'll close them off, job done. I've just remembered that I've no wire up on that field so getting them out of here now might be an issue. Um, because although there isn't much grass there, they seem perfectly content inside there. I suppose it's the weather too. But I'm just hoping that if one of the, the cows realises that they're going for fresh grass, that it'll bring all of them with them. But there are two calves in there that are extremely flighty. So um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. I'll try and record it. <laughs> if I don't, you'll know it's gone pear-shaped. <laughs>
now that's the job done cattle moved and as you can probably see from the warm head on me um it didn't quite go to plan now it wasn't bad but a lot of people have said to me surely that four strands of wire you have there you know along my passage surely that's overkill you don't need four strands of wire and all i will say to those people is sucklers 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 so came out of the field no bother uh all on the passageway heading for the gate knew where they were going well the cows did anyway and of course one of the younger calves um said no wasn't for her and went through the four strands of wire into the field across the other side of the passage that is her second time doing it and the other small one has done it at least once if not twice as well so i said sure look leave her there drove the rest down then tried to get her cow out of the field of course wouldn't because that's nervous norma and nervous norma would never do what you want her to do so I said, fine, I'll go up and try and get the calf out, knowing that that was an absolute waste of time because that never works. So um, went up, ran around the field three times just for the crack with the calf. And then dad rang and said the cow was on the way up. So she settled, realized her calf was gone and knew where to go to find her. So she strolled up the road on her own. Now this is only a small road, it's not the main road. We're not leaving cattle walk up the main road. Um, so she strolled up, uh, came into the field, bellowed a couple of times, the calf spotted her, straight down to the cow. I walked up behind them then, told Norma to be a good girl, straight down the road, the two of them in here, job done. So look, it wasn't too bad. There was just more running than I would have liked <laughs> involved, but that's all right. I got my exercise done for the evening. Um, but yeah, they're all down here. I just went down there while my face was turning a, a normal shade or a, a more normal shade anyway, from the, the big red head I had up on me. I walked down and checked the water. That spring is lovely. So there is no water the whole way down until you get to that spring so that's why i did what i did um with the fencing the last day and yeah they're all here now they're kind of after separating which is a bit unusual when they're just in the field uh not so long it was fairly windy so i said i'd just do a voiceover instead so here is misty she's out of the shirley and she's supposed to be a white cemental we don't know yet is she or is she a shirley but She's coming on nicely. She'd be a good bit older than the other ones there, but she's looking well. Then we're down to the, the twins, the two boys. So as you can see, they have nice shape on them uh, and doing well. That's the mother there looking fabulous. And that's uh, her calf from last year. Then the two brats of the bunch. Um, they absolutely hate me. Um, but both very decent the cemental very nice um in particular um and that's her mother there as well so that's them there anyway uh, two very uncooperative ladies but look uh, you'll get an idea and i think uh, usually people want to see the twins anyway and get an update on the twins but they're flying it thankfully um small definitely small but your look that's to be expected so Next thing to do is the topping. I'm going to leave it till tomorrow because I'm very warm after my run. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll pick up the video there uh, when I'm heading off to get the topper. I'm gonna change
Right, so here I am. Uh, the tractor door is off behind me um, because it's roasting. It's even warmer to this evening, I think. So um, I want to try and get a bit of air circulating. Don't I be roasting inside there? So I'm going to tackle this place here now. Some thistles up the top, some rushes. And then across the way, even though there's some grass in there, there's a massive concentration of dock leaves and I'm just going to knock them before they go to seed. So I'm just going to do that little patch in there so that I'm not wasting any grass. But here is the main one anyway. I'm going to try and tidy up as much of it as I can. There's a few rocks over here. Um, so I'm not going to go too close in there. But the main thing anyway is to catch these thistles up here before they seed and get the rushes. As always, get the rushes, get the rushes. So yeah, that's what I'm at. Today is the next day because my battery died yesterday um, and hence the kind of crappy um, footage of the topping because I thought it was recording away happy out but it obviously went into low power mode or whatever and just cut off um, because I was looking back at it last night and I was like six minutes it's like there was no way that only took six minutes um, so sorry about that I'm having a mare with them um, recording uh, lately but god those cr crows are so loud as long as they stay away from my bells but I'm um, really happy with this I actually think this is my best effort yet and um, there was one little patch over there under the trees that I just couldn't get into because the branches are too low so it's only a tiny little bit and I was actually brave enough to go up the top and um, this time so last year was my first year with the topper and I was too nervous of the slope um, and I said I'd chance it yesterday now I did go flying down it at one stage um, and I don't even know how I think I must have just had my foot on the clutch or something but look wouldn't be a normal day if there wasn't some um, near-death experience with me but um, yeah so I went up there so everything was got so I'm delighted with that. So it really tidies up the place. One thing I did realize uh, when I was doing this is that I definitely need a roller. <laughs> so I've been saying I, I want a roller for a while now, but oh my God, my body is kind of sore just from the amount of bobbing around and whatnot yesterday um, doing the topping because it's just so rough in places. Still after the when the passageway was put in um, it's just very rough in the kind of in the whole middle really again where the rushes are and stuff but I'm thinking if I was able to roll it um, it might th make things a bit easier so it depends what field I'm in some days I'm like no definitely a chain harrow is what I need to get and that's what I'm going to get next and then when I go into a different field I'm like no definitely a roller it's definitely a roller I need so um we'll see but i'd say a roller would be good for us even the place where they were up in february oh it's very rough up there now especially you feel it now that the ground has dried so much and hardened it's um yeah it's rough up there uh, i wouldn't fancy it with the 135 now to be honest but look overall very happy with that now um i need to take the topper off uh go up put the forks on and get the water tank and give water to the two cows and that's me done for the day.
So here I am here minding my own business, filling the water, when I notice the cow go over to the rushes and she's at something. So I'm saying, what is that? Do I see something inside there or is it just the light? And I come down and here we have a little calf by Little Red. Uh, well, actually, it wasn't a little calf, it was a grand calf, but um, never once expected her to calve on her own. I was sure we'd have to bring her in. I'd be watching her for hours. I'd have to call the vet. We'd have to get the jack. So to go down there and find this grand heifer limousine, um, who is very clearly not just born either. So she obviously had it hidden for a day. And I just never spotted it because that field is great for hiding. And here's my reaction. I honestly cannot believe that. Myself and my dad were so worried because he's heading off to Portugal for a few nights with my mom. And she's never calved herself. So first one was a C-section, then the vet with a jack twice. So I was saying, okay, sure, look, I'll ring the vet and I'll ask him if I can jack the calf out this time. So, you know, just, we were going to get rid of her anyway. This was it. This was her last year because, you know, you'd be afraid she'd get hurt or we'd lose the calf or something. But I can't believe that. You know, look, they do say they calf better outside. <sighs> I'm so delighted. Look. She's not a friendly cow or anything like that, but she's just grand, you know, she's perfectly grand, you know, so I wouldn't get close there now because she's not happy with me, so they're fine, the calf is sucking away, sucking all teeth, delighted, absolutely delighted, so yeah, I'm going to finish filling up this water, park the tractor, it's uh, Friday night, so we'll be having a drink to celebrate this one for sure. But um, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. So thanks again for watching. Um, if you liked it, give me a like. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Thank you.